And what do you see? What do you see valuable in a person? In a person with a with a multicultural background. Thank you. Well, I think in answer to the last question, I think it's terrific to have a multicultural background. And if I, I never was any good at languages, but if, if I were in college today and in either country, I'd be learning the language of of the other country because it, <clears throat> I think it'll be a great great advantage over time. Yeah. Well, the multicultural stuff it, it wouldn't do you. Much good to be fluent in both English and Chinese if you were, say, a proctologist in China or a proctologist in Nebraska. You just so if you're going to use your multicultural background, you've got to work at some interface between between、uh, the United States and China, and you can raise money in China in the United States and invest it in China like Li Lu does, or you can. Be some kind of an importer or, or、uh, a, a trade specialist, but you got to get near that interface to benefit from bilingual and so on. But you would bet that the interface will be substantially greater. Huge. Yeah. Huge. And that's what you want to prepare for. Yes, and and I think that, generally speaking. When you get multicultural, you can also be multidisciplinary. But generally, I think people make more money if they're if they're very narrowly specialized, like the pro proctologist, and that, <laughs> and that it's much harder to make a, a lot of money for most people if you try and imitate Warren and me. I'm glad I didn't meet him earlier. I mean. <laughs> <laughs>